Hey everybody, Danielle here. I'm doing a solo playthrough of The White Castle. Um, hopefully I don't make as many mistakes as I did on my first playthrough, which that video is already up on my channel if you haven't already checked it out. Um, but anyway, this should be more of a uh, more of a how to play, although I wouldn't say it's a full tutorial because um, this game has a lot of things I feel like going on and we might not reach every situation or scenario um, for that game. Alright, so I have the solo deck here, which I will explain as we play the game. I have my um, resources already chosen from the resource uh, card. So I got two rice, uh, two iron, two mother of pearl, four coins, and one daimyo. So I've got the trackers already here. They're set up. Um, so you'll see that the yellow is for the rice, this uh, gray is for the iron, and the white is for the mother of pearl. I have my coins, and you'll track... Um, your daimyo here. You'll be able to spend two of those for any one resource or one for a coin. You'll also notice all of my little workers here. I'll be able to uh, activate some of the revealed icons on each of these tracks. As I remove these in different actions, I'll be able to gain more if I were to place dice on my personal domain. That's basically what they call it. And then after I gain some of these icons that are visible, um, I also can do the action on the action card, which this corresponds to this section of the map. So um, this would be the bridge section that matches this icon. And then this icon you'll see is another action, and that is the castle. Everybody has to enter at the gate, which is down here. And then we have this, which is like the training grounds, and there's three sections here. And there are costs sometimes when you do your actions, and these costs will be in a reddish colored font. So you'll notice here is a cost of one iron, cost of three, cost of five. But then you'll see instances of a normal black colored number like this, so that means you gain two coins. You gain one influence, you gain two iron, and so forth. The point of this game is to get as many victory points as you can. Um, I am playing the official solo mode within the White Castle game. Um, although there is a very good solo variant that many people have suggested that I give a try at some point. I've already rolled the dice. You, you roll the dice, you put them on the colored bridges. Uh, it's optional, you don't have to put them on the constructed bridges, but I did. And you'll see that they are placed from left to right in ascending order. And whenever you take a die, if there's one in the middle, you have to move it to the empty space on the edges of the bridge. All right, so I think we're ready to get started. You'll also notice that I have some of these uh, dice tokens on the dice faces up um, here. So those will come into play later on. I have cards here in these spots, which um, could change throughout the game. And then down here we have um, these were also the dice tokens, but if you flip them over, you see the icons on them. So uh, it is randomized for your game. So every game does feel pretty different because you have different re resources available to you. Okay, so I'm going to take the first turn. And I think right off the bat, I have four coins, which is pretty good. And I think I really want to get more Mother of Pearls. So Mother of Pearls will be spent to level up um, my uh, workers in the castle. And really the idea is that you want to get as high into the castle as possible because each worker in each of the levels have a certain point. So if they're stuck here at the gate, you only get one point at the end of the game for each of those people you have there. You get three on this, the first level, you get six points on the, the, the second level, and on the third you get ten points, which is pretty cool. So I think if I can, I'm going to try to get more Mother of Pearls, but I'm actually not seeing a clear way to do it except here. So I'll grab the black die, and in this case, I'm going to take this six, and I'm going to place it here. This is a three. The value of the die I'm putting down is a six. So I would actually gain three coins. So basically, you gain the difference of of the values. As long as it's greater, you gain the coins. If it's lower, you lose the coins. So my six is greater than three, so I gain three coins into my inventory. And because this is a black die, I have to look here to see if there's any black die icons, and that's 
you have to have a color that matches the dye you're placing. You're not able to place a dye that doesn't match um, one of these tiles. So I place a black one, it matches this, and I'll get two mother of pearls. So now I'm at three. And then that's my turn. The AI will go. So I'll flip over the AI deck, and you're going to see a couple of things. So this tells us which dye to take. So I will be taking the rightmost white dye and placing it in this specific spot of the board. So taking the rightmost dye is a six, and I'm placing it right here. The six is greater than five by one, so the AI will gain one coin. And then the rest of the card tells us, um, well, the rest of the other part of the card is here. So it tells us that we have to place a worker um, and I've designated the red color for them. I have to place this worker on one of the garden spaces with the least amount of uh, fans or victory points on it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm looking at the values of the fan. So this is one, this is three, this is one, nine, seven, seven. If it's a tie, I get to decide. I'm going to place this one here. And then on the bottom of this card, it also says to level up one of my um, one of their workers in the castle. They don't have any, so I essentially can't do that action. If I cannot do that action, they gain points equal to the round number. So right now they're at one point. It's round one. And that's it. That's their turn. Now it's back to me, and we basically do this a total of three times per round, nine times total in a in, in an entire game. So it's a very quick game. Um, so I'm going to take this three and you'll notice I'm taking it from the left side, which has this lantern icon. So when I take this die, I get to gain my lantern icons right now. My lantern icons only show a bowl of rice, which is food. If it had any other icons across, I would gain all of those. But for now, I'll just gain the rice. So I'm at three rice. So with this three, I'm going to actually place it here. You'll notice there's no difference in the values. I don't gain any coins and I don't lose any coins. So this is a reddish die. I look at the dice colors here and two of them are red. I get to do both of these actions. So I will be able to trade one of these, which I will, one of the damios for an action in the castle. So I'll trade one in, and I will place one of these workers here. So I'll grab the, the matching worker and place it here at the gate. I have to pay two coins to do that. After that, I can level up by paying two Mother of Pearls to move up one level, or five Mother of Pearls to move up two levels. So in this case, I only have three Mother of Pearls, so I can only move up one level. So I'll move up one level by paying one, no, uh, sorry, one, two. So I'll move up one level and I get to choose between this, this, or this. Um, I think it'll be in my best interest to do this one. And I get to take this card and swap it out with my action card and then immediately I get to choose one of the light colored actions to perform now. And I will do the Mother of Pearl, one, two. And then this card that was in the original action spot gets flipped over and gets placed on top just like this so that in the future lantern action turn, I get to gain both of these. And then the other red die action was to gain two iron. So I'll gain two, one, two. I'll replace this card with the one on top of the deck. And that's how that works. So moving on to the AI turn, we'll flip over the card. They're going to take the middle black die, but I do need to zoom out to show you what I should have been doing. As I've taken, or as the AI also has taken any dice on the edges, the middle die would move to that edge. So I need to just do some cleanup there. I should be doing that when I take the dice. So in that case, there is no black middle die. That means we have to continue drawing a card until they can take a die. 
So now they take a white die that's on the left of the bridge and they'll place it in this spot. And just to zoom in here, they'll place it on this specific spot with a three on it and a person. So you'll notice that it's already taken. They can't place a die on top of mine in a solo game. You can't do that. So they are automatically just going to the wishing well. So they'll place it on the one. Three is greater than one by two. So they'll gain two coins. And that's it. That's their um, placement. Then we'll fulfill the last two cards that were flipped. So that's this and this card, top to bottom. So we'll do this one. They're going to place it at the gate. And then they're going to gain one influence and three coins. So influence is uh, going to be signified by this. So it's one, two. Oh, they only gain one, so we'll just do one. And they gain three coins. So one, two, three coins for them. And then this card is very similar. You'll place another one at the gate. And then you can level up one of their workers. So they can go to... Um, I think I'll have them go here, and what happens with the card is it just gets discarded. I usually just put it to the bottom of the deck, and then we'll flip a new one. Okay, so that's that. That was their turn. And then I get to choose one more die. I'll go ahead and choose this four. And I did choose it on the left side, which is a lantern, so I'll gain one rice and also one influence. And then with this four, is a red die, so I can't place it here because there's no red dice available. I could place it here, so I'll go ahead and do that. A four and a four has no difference in the value, so I don't lose or gain any coins. But I will do the action associated here. So that's the bridge action. I have four rice. To be able to spend, um, or to be able to place a meeple on one of these spots, in this bridge garden section, you have to have the right amount of rice to pay for that. So this costs five, four, four, one, two, one. You can only place one of your meeples um, in each spot. So you can't double up and have two of your meeples in this spot. But as I could place it where the AI has our, a meeple already. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and spend four rice, so that brings me down to zero, and I'm going to place my gardener over here. And so I will get to spend three coins and basically convert it into this training grounds. Um, action so I could spend a certain amount of iron. I'll spend three iron, one, two, three, to place a I guess a warrior or a samurai there. And I get to take this action. And this action says perform a personal domain action as if you had placed a die in it. So I'm going to, to do that and I'm going to do the middle one. So I'll gain two iron because that's what's shown here. Um, so to get a closer look, these are the revealed icons, so I get one, two, and then I also get the corresponding uh, action card thing here. So I get one daimyo and one point. Okay, so that's me, and then the AI will take its turn. It's going to take the rightmost red die, and there is one here. So they're going to place it on this five, and then they're going to put this into the training grounds, into the three section, and then they're going to level up one of their workers, one of their people. So they're probably just going to level up here to one of these. Um, I'm going to say I'll choose this one, that's the one they level up to, and then flip over the, the new one. Okay, so that's the end of the round. At the end of the round, we look at who was uh, on top here. And it's me, so I get to be the first player. I think that's how it goes. I'll be the first player for the round. Um, and now we'll go into the uh, garden action phase. So basically I'll be looking to see where, uh, which bridges still have dice, and then you'll get some bonus actions there. So this has some actions that I can do. Uh, I can pay three, but unfortunately I don't have three. I'll trade that to do a three. 
So I'll trade the Daimyo for one coin because you could do that trade anytime and spend three to do a training ground action. So I get to spend a certain amount of iron again. Um, and actually, I don't think I have iron. I was supposed to spend three before. Would I have gained three iron at any other point? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. So I don't think I can even do much there. Because I think I would have spent this, honestly. Right? Because my original... How much iron did I have before? I had two. I had two, which means three. Yeah, so I think I would have spent that. So never mind. I'll get that back and I won't do that action. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. Um, we'll re-roll all of the dice. And replace them. ascending order and then we'll shuffle their AI deck again all right and then I'll go first and I think that's how it goes let me just double check their turn order we'll make sure I get this this right um, Oh, I do have to take care of the AI coins. One moment for that. But end of round, new order turns, whoever's influence marker is the farthest along the passage of time track. If there are ties, a player whose token is on top goes first. Yeah, so that works. I'm on top. All right, so because they're in second place, one, two, three, four, five, they trade in five points and gain um, the round value. So they, they gain one point before. All right, moving on to round two. We're ready to start that. I'm going to take a die and what should I do here? I'm trying to be a little bit more thoughtful. I'll take this three and I do a lantern action. I'll put that three there, but I'll do a lantern action gaining a rice and then I also move one up here. So with that, I have two red die actions I could do in any order. I'll gain two rice, brings me to three. And then I'll also gain one coin and a wishing well action. So wishing well action allows me to gain a daimyo and also an iron and another rice. The AI will take a middle red die, although this should be towards the edge. So there is no middle red die at this time. Let's flip again. And we have the rightmost die. So it's a six going here. It is one higher than the five. It will gain one coin. It's going to carry out these four actions. This is going to be placed on the lowest valued one. This will be the other one it can go on. And then it's going to level up one of their warriors. It's going to go up here. It's going to take the first section. They're going to go into the gates again. And then they're going to level up again. So I'm going to put that one here. And we'll just draw. So man, they're all over this castle right now, which is not great. We need to have more people in this castle. Um, so in that case, I'm actually going to take this six, and although I won't take a lantern action, I'll put it here, and I'll guarantee that I take this. Um, I don't even have enough coins, so I'm gonna have to spend a daimyo for that. But I'll spend two coins to place this uh, person here, and I'll spend one, two, Mother of Pearls to upgrade. And I'll move this worker to one of these level two sections. I think I'll place it here. So I'll gain this card and it'll replace the action card that I already have. And I get to do one of the light colored actions immediately, which is gain two influence. Okay, so I think that's all I can do. AI will go, they'll take the middle again, this has to go to the edge, so there is no middle black die. We'll flip this over, they'll take the leftmost white die, and now remember to move this to the edge this time. And they're going to place it here. It's a three on a three, so they don't gain any um, coins. Um, they'll place this worker into the gates, they'll gain one influence, they'll gain three coins. One, two, three. 
and then they'll also place another one at the gate and then they're going to gain two influence one two and then one coin okay let's see i'm going to take probably one of the threes here and try to do a uh, an action here so i'll do a lantern that's a rice an influence and a coin and then I get two white die actions that gives me one coin I get to do a wishing well uh, uh, action I get one iron one rice I have a lot of rice and then this one says I could do another lantern action which is another rice which I've met my max now another influence which requires me to pay this daimyo to do if I couldn't I wouldn't be able to and then I'll gain one more coin all right, so I didn't quite add as many people as I would have liked to the castle that turn, but that's okay. The AI will go. There's no white middle die, so we'll have to flip again. There is a, white, a rightmost black die, and that's going to go here, and it looks like it might be taken. So it's going to the wishing well. It's two greater than the one printed value on there, so it gains two coins. And then we're going to do these four actions. They're going to place this gardener on the next valued. So it'll be this one. They're going to gain one influence. They're going to get two points. One, two. And then we have this one in the training grounds. And then they're going to level up one. And they're going to go up. Oh, I have to replace this card. Where will I have them go? Um, as far as cards, I probably would not care for that one as much as the other. And then, I think that's it. Um, let's see. So I'm still first player. And then we go ahead and do the, the garden action. So this still has a die. They're going to gain the round value. So one, two for that one. They're going to gain one for that one. One, two. And they're going to gain another one, two. So they gain the value for each that has a die on the bridge still. That equals the round. So it was two points for each of them. They, they got six points just now. For me, I'm here. I could pay three. Um, to do that training grounds action and the training grounds action requires me to use this one I have two iron so I'll spend one to place one there and then that allows me to do this which gets me five coins okay so that's that. So in second place, uh, in second turn order, they have to get points for every five. So they get one point. Uh, well, they get points equal to the round, so it's two. And then we shuffle up their deck. And then we're on to round three, basically. One, two, three. So move this to round three. We'll roll the dice. Move some low numbers here this time. Okay. Um, I need to get here. I need money and pearls. So how do I get more pearl? I'm gonna have to take this six. I'll get three pearls one two three and I also take this action here so I could spend rice to place a gardener down so I'll spend five which leaves me with two and put it right here and that action allows me to do four coins to do any die action let me just confirm perform any action associated with a die that is in the castle so in that case I'm going to get two Mother of Pearls, I think. Should I do that? 
or influence. Mm. Or I have to do, yeah, no, I'll gain two, one, two. All right, so that's that. Let's see what they do. We'll move this over before we forget. They'll take the middle black die and place it on on this one. So unfortunately, I can't do anything there. But now they place a gardener on the next valued. I'll put that here. And then they'll gain one influence and two points. Okay, for me, I do want to try to level up as much as I can with my worker here, but I need need to do this action. So I'm going to take this four. Actually, I need to take the red five and I'll place it here so that I can do that. I can't spend two to place one here, but I think I could still. Maybe I will. I'll play it safe and say that I have to. I'll spend two coins and place this here and then spend five which takes me down to one mother of pearls to level up something twice um, you know what I'm only gonna spend I'm only gonna spend two one two to, to level this up once up here now gain two points okay yeah I think that's what I'll do um, and then I get to do my lantern action, which gives me rice. I gain an influence. And gain one coin. The AI will take the rightmost white die. This should be moved over. And that's here. And that's going to go here. And then we're taking... So they don't have any more of these workers. So they'll gain three points because that's the round we're on. One, two, three. And then they're going to gain one influence and three coins. All right. And then back to me. This is my last turn. So I have to make it worth it. I'm going to try to level up. But I don't think I'll be able to get any actions there. I would love to move this up, but I don't think I can. I don't see a way to to do that. Hmm. I guess I could just help myself here. I'll spend this one and put this here. Gain a Damio. Gain an iron and a rice. And I think that's all I've got. Because I, unfortunately I didn't have enough coins to do anything else. But I'll gain my um, my lantern bonus. So that's a rice, an influence, and then a coin. I don't know if that was the best last turn, to be honest. <laughs> um, anyway, the AI is going to take their turn. There's no middle red. There is a rightmost red. They're going to place it. Nope, they can't place it there. So they place it in the well. One is equal to one, so nothing gained. They'll place a gardener on here. They're going to level up one. It's probably going to go here. And then they're going to not be able to do this. They'll gain three points because of that. And then they'll level up another one. And it doesn't really matter where they go. They'll just do that. Take this card and we'll replace it just to go through the motions. And that's it. That's the end of the turn. We don't do any of this extra scoring or extra actions with the garden. We just go straight to scoring at this point. Um, so I'll score myself. So unfortunately I only had three points, <laughs> but we get to score some points here. So it's nine plus seven is 15. So that's going to bring me to 18. And then here I get three points because that's the section of, uh, influence I'm at. So one, two, three, and then the castle, I'll gain 10 points and one, one. So that's 12. Um, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 33. And then here I'll gain one point. And then for this one, I'll gain one point. Basically, you get uh, one point per 
uh, warrior here that times the value of the number of uh, workers you have in the castle. I'll gain one more. Okay, so in terms of the other scoring, you would be able to score on some of your resources if you had four of them, if you had two daimyos, but nope, nothing there. So I have 35 points. The AI is currently, I think, at 20. Let's see what they get. They get one. So it's four, five. Five plus 14 is 19. So they're going to get 19. What's that? 39. And then here the, they'll get three. So it's one, two, three. And then in the castle, they'll get 20. Which is not good. Got right, 22. 20 for those, and then a total of 1, 2, 3, 5 for the rest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you can see, it's pretty brutal. They're going to probably lap me on this scoring track. And then over here, they're going to score 1 times 1, which is 1, and then 1 times no, no, no. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the reds. Okay, so 2 times 1, 2, 3 is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 4, oh, no, that's it. So they're at, what, 73 points, and I'm at 35. Um, but a plus is that 35 is the highest points I've gotten so far in all of my plays. So I think that's a win right there. Um, I'm, I considered actually not even scoring for the AI because I feel like the AI is just supposed to kind of like get in my way. And so I considered just getting my score and just trying to beat my own score i wish there was like a score range but um at least i know for me it's my highest score yet and so um that is definitely always a win all right well this was a fairly quick game it took me about what 30 minutes or less to actually play the game after i discussed some of the the setup and components um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you guys think of the um the white castle and uh, as always, if you are not already subscribed, please do. I do lots of videos about uh, solo games. I do unboxings, sometimes live streams. I always say that because I want to do it more. Um, so hopefully in the future, you'll see me do some more live streams. But if not, I also do a lot of community posts. So I, I post pictures or I post uh, questions and I like to try to talk to you guys. Um, I love learning about what games you guys are playing. And um, maybe that way I could also discover new games to showcase on my channel. Alright, I'll stop rambling. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!